In this video, we are going to learn how you can automatically add WooCommerce products from MS Excel. So the idea here is that you have created a spreadsheet in MS Excel account where you are adding the details of your products. Now you want that whenever you add a new data to your MS Excel specific spreadsheet, automatically using those details, a new product should get created into your e-commerce platform that is WooCommerce. For that, you need to integrate your MS Excel with WooCommerce. So here your trigger application would be MS Excel and your action application would be WooCommerce. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as add WooCommerce products from MS Excel. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we have created some product details in our MS Excel spreadsheet and we want to add the products in our WooCommerce store from that particular MS Excel spreadsheet. So for that, first we need to integrate MS Excel with Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as MS Excel. Select the trigger event as new row in worksheet. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking let this app access your info. So let's scroll down and click on yes over here to give away the permissions. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Excel account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into your Microsoft Excel account. Now here, as we have created a connection here, we can find all the workbooks or the spreadsheet names that we have created in our Microsoft Excel account. Okay, so here I will take you to the spreadsheet which I have already created. And here the spreadsheet name is create products in WooCommerce where I am taking the details of the product name, its description, status as published, regular price, sale price, the image of that particular product, image URL and the stock that is inventory. And here you can see that the sheet name is sheet 1 over here. So I will be selecting the same spreadsheet in Pabli Connect to capture all these details. So let us select create products in WooCommerce spreadsheet over here. Create products in WooCommerce. Now, as I have created a single sheet in this particular spreadsheet, the sheet name is automatically captured. But if you have created multiple worksheets, then from the drop down, you have to select your specific worksheet name. Okay. Now, as we have already added the some data in this particular Excel sheet, we are just going to click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the responses received and all the details of the Excel spreadsheet is captured over here. We can find the product name, its description. Here we can find the product as published, the amount, here we can find the image URL and the stock also. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the response as the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. And here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every 8 hours. Okay. So now we want that using all these details of our Excel spreadsheet, automatically a new product should get created into your WooCommerce website. So let's scroll down and here uh, come to this action step and here choose the application name as WooCommerce. Select the action event as create a product. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and now it is asking for the consumer key, consumer secret key and the website URL. 
For that, we have to just follow these instructions. To create or manage keys for a specific WordPress user, go to the WooCommerce, Settings, move to Advanced, click on REST API and then click the Add Key button. Okay, for that, I'll just take you to my WordPress account. Okay, so this is my WordPress dashboard where I have already installed the WooCommerce plugin. So I'm just going to click on WooCommerce. So the easy one, first let us select the uh, website URL. So here you can see that this is my website URL. So I'm just going to copy this website URL from here and I'll be pasting it over here. Okay, and here it is mentioned that it, the website URL without the ending slash needs to be entered over here. So here you can see that I have not entered the ending slash. Now moving to consumer key and consumer secret key. So for that, we have to come to the settings option of WooCommerce. Click on settings. And here we can find the advanced tab. Simply click on advanced. And here we have to just scroll down and click on rest API option. Okay, and here we have to just create a new key. For that, click on this add key button. And here we have to give the key details. So let us give the name of the key or the description of the key as Excel integration. Okay, here we have to select the user that is automatically captured. And here we have to select the permissions. So I am just going to select the permission as read and write. Okay, and now let's click on generate API key. So here we can find the consumer key. So I'll simply copy it and I'll be pasting the same over here as consumer key. And here we have to uh, copy the consumer secret key also. And let us paste it over here. And now we are going to just click on save to create a connection. And now the WooCommerce account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to give the product name, slug, product type and other details which we have already received from our uh, Excel spreadsheet over here. So we will be mapping this data now. Okay. For mapping, let's scroll down. Simply click it over here. Come to Excel spreadsheet uh, trigger response. And from here, we are going to simply select the data. So here we have added or mapped the product name as Zebronix speaker. We don't have the product slug. So I'm just leaving it as blank. Here we have to select the product type as simple, grouped, external, variables. I'm just keeping the product type as simple. Here we have to select the product status. So I'm just keeping the status as publish. Okay. Let's scroll down. Here we have to give the regular price. So let us map the regular price as 2000. And here we have to give the sale price that was 1800. Here we have to give the description of the product. So let us add the description. Okay. If you have some short description, you can just give it over here also. Date on sale from. So if you want to specify some sale date, or date on sale to, you can just give it over here. Okay. Now let's scroll down. I'm not having the text other details. So I'm just leaving these fields as blank. Manage stock. Let's click on yes. True. And here we have to give the stock quantity. So we have the stock quantity. Let us map it as 50. Stock status as in stock. Okay. And let's scroll down. We don't have the dimension details. So let's leave the fields as blank as they are not mandatory. Okay, and here we have to give the line item image URL. So here I'll be mapping the image URL that we have got from our Excel trigger response. Okay, so we have mapped all the details. Now let's scroll down and click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here in the response, we have got an ID. It means a new product is added to our WooCommerce store. Let's check it. For that, I'll just move to the WooCommerce account. From here, we'll be moving to the product section and click on all products. And here we can see that a Zebronix speaker is added as a new product to our WooCommerce store. Okay, I'll just show you the details. Here we can find in stock as 50. Here we can find the price. The uh, regular price was 2000 and the offer price is 1800. And here we can find it as published. And here we have got the image also. Okay, I'll just open it and I'll show it to you. Even we will get the uh, description details also. And here we can find the description also. Okay, so in this way we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now as we have set up an automation, it is a one time process. Next time, whenever you're going to add a new product detail into your Excel spreadsheet over here, automatically a new product will get created into your WooCommerce account.
So let's check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. So here I have entered some product details that is quantum web camera and here I have added the description status as published, regular price as 600, sale price as 550 and here I have added an image URL also and here let us uh, add the inventory as 100. Okay. So we have added a new product in our Excel spreadsheet. Now let us check our WooCommerce product section. We have to just refresh it. And even after refreshing, we can't find that a new product is added just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So here we have to wait for some time. So it's almost three to four minutes. Let us refresh our WordPress account once again. Okay, and here we can see a new product added over here as quantum web camera. Here we can find the stock as 100 in stock. Here we can find its price and here we can find that it is published. And in this way, we can see that a new product is added successfully and our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect and now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'll just uh, minimize this trigger window also. Okay. So first we have created an integration between Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect so that whenever a new data is added to an Excel spreadsheet, automatically the Pabli Connect is going to capture the data and using those details, automatically we have created a new product in our WooCommerce account. And in this way, we have learned that how we can add WooCommerce products from MS Excel using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.